Welcome back to Clownsville. We're Welcome fading away from Ville. Mr. Man. Goodbye, Mr. White. To Mr. Be Ville. I guess we should have uh, ended it at the to be it's continued. It's literally impossible for us to know when that happens, though. Yeah, yeah, it's just true. We call the shots here, not the video game. Capcom should know about Clownsville 15 years before Clownsville happened. Yeah. Ugh, September that day. <laughs> well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look! I look terrible from the front. Who did him? Who did- you did. What did he sound like? He was like this, hello. Oh, he was my Komida voice, okay. A little bit, yeah. Prosecute- we're playing Danganronpa 2 in our spare time. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I, that, uh, I'll do my Komida voice. Yeah, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's office yesterday. Eh? I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? What does White have... Does White have the judge in his pocket too? I mean, he already said that, so I'm gonna say, yeah, probably. I, it, I mean, judging by Miles Edgeworth's face, it doesn't look like he's totally behind I'm this, huh? I'm not very happy about it, as you can tell. Yeah, I mean, I, he gets his own spin-off, so he can't be, like, fucking evil. I imagine he's got... I'm not evil, I'm just an asshole. Yeah, he's got scroops, you know? He's I got scoops. Scoops. So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty, end of story. Hmm. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? Why, why, why Robert? Poke my cheeks and berries yeah, will come yeah, out. Robert. How can you torment an innocent person like this, Robert? Innocent. How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. I'm a terrible lawyer, as you can tell. <laughs> Man, it's just pointless. Whatever, man. Everyone's lying. Everyone's liars. It's the government. All I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. One. Wait. Wait, because you know him, Ribbit? I don't expect. No, oh, don't you expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix. You gave her such a, a snot nose now. Sorry, I. it's hard for me to remember what they sound like. <laughs> it's okay. Well, court will be starting soon. Wait, but wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. That <laughs> is... <laughs> <laughs> That is basically what just happened. Like, her mouth wasn't colored I in. I don't know what that was, to be completely honest. I need to- oh shit. I need to review that. Quick, play that footage back. Let's get an instant replay on this. What? Oh. What is that? It's her mouth, but it's not colored in. <laughs> Hi, Ossifer. Oh my god, I hate the detached Joy-Cons. Okay, here we go. Is that what you're playing with right now? Yeah, because the, the Pro Controller is charging. It's probably a good enough charge now, but whatever. Okay, let's do this! September 9th, 10 a.m., District Court Room number one. Donk! Court is now in session of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. Mm. Sorry, I'm drinking vodka on the job. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. 
That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? I mean, does, is, has, is he known to do such a thing? It's like, it's like he knows him already. Why? Huh. If anyone's going to raise an objection about it, I suppose it's me. Save. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We need to save, like, every, before every choice in this, I think. Raise an objection, I say. Yeah. Objection! Oh, he didn't say it. Come on. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't the witness testify the trial against Mrs. Mia, Miss Mia Fey? Mm. I don't know. Humph. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man. And besides, at the time I thought that Miss, My Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. <sighs> you think we should go back? That's, this makes him look good. Sure, let's do it. I, I do not care that we are safe scumming in this game. I'm just scared. You should never. Honestly, it's fine to play a game like that. Let it go. Forget it. I smell a trap. <laughs> I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. What color is the stand? Brown. Damn it. <laughs> Jibba. Please state your full name. I'm pressing the A button. You wish to know the full the, the title of my personage? Go. <laughs> um your name. Yes. That is what I said. Oh dear. Do my look locutions confuse? Name. These two are great together. They should totally suck penises. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. Nino, probably, to be honest with you. Well, mm, I mean, does Nino mean red? No, but if it's Blanco Nino... Blanco means white. Yeah, I know. Time for Google Translate. Well, red is rojo, so yeah, But here's know. the thing about that is that that is a Spanish word, and I would assume... That it's supposed to be Nino. Okay, yeah, you're probably right. Because red is rojo, whatever. I'm the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Those are two different titles, but whatever. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. Huh. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? <laughs> Why tell you that what you already know? <laughs> Very well, fuck. Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Man, it would be nice if we had that affidavit. Why do I always feel like the... Well, the affidavit just said that he was there, which oh, yeah, he just admitted right. to. <laughs> Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and the, la and the last man standing? Oh, <laughs> Jimbo. Check it out. I hope you made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. God damn. Let him have it, Phoenix. <laughs> Give it to him, the old one, too. All right, witness testimony. Let's see. It was about nine, I be, I, nine o'clock, I believe. I was quietly pursuified. Uh, that's reading to you. Some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-headed man attacking a woman with long hair. Needlessly, needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. Excuse me. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Uh, your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. What do you think? Let's take a look uh, at our stuff. Yeah, let's very much look at the items that we have at our disposal. Yeah. Well, we could also press. Let's see if there's anything to present. 
Mia's autopsy report, that is a blunt object, may have been living for a few minutes after being hit. Get the conversation, the broken remains of a glass light stand, broken by, by all recognition. Uh, the stinker, the wiretap, the receipt. Victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. That's May's testimony. The murder scene. Okay, let's 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 listen to him again. As soon as the B button chooses to work. There we go. I was kind of pursuing, that's reading to you, and then I heard the bedlam coming from outside. Surprised I turned, looked really across the way. It was then I saw a spike here. Woman. Long hair. Needless to say. That was a you, Mr. Lawyer. She too was surprised, of course. The victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally there was a terrible impaction, then it was all over. Hmm. It's not nine, I believe. Right, that's that's correct. She was he was reading some papers by the window. And I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky haired man attacking a woman I, with long I hair. I mean, I guess you should press for more details about it, about it, this, if, right? About yeah, if it was actually me doing it, then blah, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. One one thing I want to take a look at real quick. We should probably save before we press. Yeah, I agree. Do it. Hold it, bitch. Spiky haired. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> was huh? that an Easter egg? I don't know. Maybe that man was you, Mr. Lear. How about this? <laughs> what you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated the assailant looked like a girl. Do I look like a girl? Am I girly to you? Am I a girly girl girl with girl hair? I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Irrelevant. Ryan, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? It's it's the sight I use with my eyes. What do you think? Counting both eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. Why, yes. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight that is good. That doesn't mean anything. Hey, whose side is the judge on anyway? That's irrelevant. And what did you do then? Well, that, that didn't help. Uh, come and say over once. Well, just keep pressing everything, frankly. Yeah, let me take a look. The victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. Let me double check here. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Press this, you think? Probably. I don't really remember M May's testimony all that well. She ran away, but you gave chase. There, there was a terrible impaction. It was all over. <laughs> she may have lived a few minutes. I don't, I don't think that's relevant. Let's try pressing about calling May. Okay. What was Miss May doing at the time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know that she had been tapping the the Faye office phone? That what's the relevance to that? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I'm gonna choke on my own spit. I care not about your spit. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she wiretapped the phone of this Faye woman. You make a good politician, Mr. White. <laughs> I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. It's weird that we haven't lost any, like, health yet. Yeah, we must be doing something right. When there's a terrible impaction, then it was all over. Um, impaction? Don't you mean just impact? Ridiculosity! I think you need to brush up on your language skills. And second that, perhaps I'd better leave the whole language thing alone. Alright, that didn't help. Damn, this is a fucking head scratcher. When she was surprised, of course. The victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. We didn't press on this. Can you be a little de more detailed about that? 
I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you. She ran to the left. No, she didn't. She ran to the right. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always positively perfect. She ran to the right, but we can't present it right now. We must wait. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. I, I, victim ran to the left, and you gave chase. Present. Present. This fucking she ran to the thing. Right. She ran to the right. I don't know why I expected him to say left when this said right. It's just that detail is just—it's too easy. Objection. Objection, bitch. Wait right there, Mr. White. You've dug your own grave. Don't fucking talk like that, Fioni. 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 I am going to kill you myself, just like I killed Maya. Wait. Or Mia. I always get them mixed up. Uh, what is this? You said the victim ran to the left. Oh, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She, she flipped it. She was clearly stated that the victim ran right. She doesn't know her lefts from her rights. She still has to use that L finger thing. Oh, it is simple. I'm, uh, you have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here with the K, and the victim was here, with the V. The victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, and she would have been running directly away from the door. That's a, <laughs> that's a, I mean, that's a good idea. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. But I mean, what if she was trying to grab a weapon? I don't know. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> that is certainly a face. <laughs> Sorry, Miss May is underneath the table. <laughs> <laughs> I just spewed. I spewed my pants. Very strange. I, he looks awful from the side. Look at that face. Oof. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Look at his face. I'll leave you lying about this one. True. I don't know, I, well, here's the thing. He he saw the victim run left because it would have been his left because he's the murderer. Oh, you're right. Because. So he did witness the killing. Because he's the fucking killer. He's the killeroid. He, it, it, <sighs> Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Because <laughs> both witnesses are. I love this face so much, <laughs> dude. I'm like giddy. You're giddy. I'm giddy. Both witnesses are telling the truth for once. Hogwash, uh, Mister Wright. It. Hogwash. I have a big hand, big meaty fingers. Uh, rather, uh, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. What the fuck? Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, implicate him. <laughs> yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices, you're fan go, of course. You pinch these fucking cheeks of mine, I'm buff as shit. <laughs> <laughs> you are quite buff. I work out, Mr. Edgeworth and Judge Officer. I bet you do. I'd like to see those muscles. Well, allow me to please remove my suit here on the courtroom, Your <laughs> Honor. <laughs> Motion agreed with. <laughs> <laughs> More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where the Mr. Wright was standing. Where the killer was. You gotta do it right there. Take that, bitch. This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That's where the killer was standing. Exactly. 
Schmegzactly, your honor. Order! I will have order! I will order a pizza! Anyway. I would like a pizza. Extra meat, please. Got it. Uh, Mr. Wright, do you want anything? Um, I'll, uh, just cheese and pepperoni, please. Uh, Mr. White, uh, I need ducks. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, yes, one, uh, one, one duck, one, please. One, one, one duck pizza, please. <laughs> uh, you got it, man. I'm glad you called the one pizza place in Japan that orders duck. Uh, anyway, anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? <laughs> Rap scallion. Uh, the postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. <laughs> hey, I'm, he's, he, I'm rubbing off on him. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. <laughs> eh. Eh. Ho, ho, ho. You provided us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing. The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well. Let's hear your revision testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony. I mean, in this game, you clearly can, considering you can change your story as many times as you want. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she ran off to the left. And then, you hit her, savagely. And that is what I saw. Next, with the, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Wasn't it a single blow that killed yeah, her, though? It was a, it was a single blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see... You hit her twice. Her boobs are so weird in that picture. She got weird titties, it's dude. It's like they're weirdly suspended and separated from each other. Yeah, that bra does not look comfortable. I don't even think that's a bra. I think she's using tape. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, there you go. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? No. <laughs> no, because I didn't do it, you dumb bitch. He didn't do it, you dumb bitch. I mean, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> we all know it, but we, it's, it's an abortion of justice we're performing here. You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. I mean, let's double check the wording of, uh, the... Oh my god, let me press it. Died from a blow by a blunt object. May have been may have lived for a few minutes after being hit. A well, blow. Yeah. Your Honor, she ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Save first, though. Yeah. I'm good at this. Yeah. You're so you're so phoenixy. I'm so phoenixy. Uh, present this. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. <laughs> Maybe you should have been at the first trial, dumbass. <laughs> what do you have to say to that? <laughs> <laughs> He's going down a little too easy, don't you think? Yeah, I know, especially for like such a, a high man. Now's my chance to hit him where it counts, in the balls. Aw, Blue grabbed his face. Aw, he's so cute. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court that you were absolutely perfect? Mm, that does sound like a phrasing I would use. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new phrase, I mean testimony. Oh God, what do you want? The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten minute break. I also have to take a big fat dumpy shit. And it will take exactly nine minutes and 59 seconds. Yeah, that's quiet. The witness is confused because he's lying. Look at my freakish ear and don't know the truth. It doesn't look freakish in this shot. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. I'm serious. Yeah. I really want a poopy. I really had to take a big fat dumpy. I'm so sorry. Very well. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the witness, if please. The witness cares to revise his testimony. <laughs> it seems I've dumped in my pants. <laughs> We are so intelligent and uh, mature. <laughs> the crowd's on my side. No slipping. Because, you know, crowd reaction is totally important in the court. 
That'd be fucking awesome. It's, it's like wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. White, it is clear that you are the tweener in this situation. Isn't that what the jury's supposed to do? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Wait, why isn't there a jury? Because, I don't know. Um, well, you see, I looked at the other window when I heard what? that thing fall. Other There's only one window. window. Then, that, the next moment, I saw Miss Mio run to the left. The killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then, uh, she turned and ran for the door. <laughs> then you did her in with a single blow. Dwap! Uh, Swap indeed. Very well. It's the sound my pussy makes. <laughs> Mr. Your Honor, m my stomach, you see, it, it is hurting. Deal with it, bitch. This is almost over. Wee. All right. Uh, Man, he's not used to being pressed, I can tell. See, I looked at the other window. What is the other window? Can you save and we can s to fucking... Because what is he talking about? I mean, I think he's talking about the window across the street, I assume. I'm confused. You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that. Um, oh, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Yikes. Something about you that strike you as odd? No. I'm confused. Me too. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. <laughs> You're saying you saw the glass light stand. That was outside of the view of the window, according yeah, to the floor plan. I suppose. Yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. How many times is he allowed to revise his testimony? Infinite number of times. Okay, uh, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. How can you see that? Then, the next, oh, wait, yeah. The light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Uh, present the floor plan. The floor, pl the floor the plan. End. Yeah, how do you know what it was? It, yeah, it how, just looks like incomprehensible you, glass. It, it was in the corner away from the window. Like. Broken beyond all recognition, too. So, there's no way that he could know. It's one of these. Who knows? Yeah. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. <laughs> Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes. Yeah, we've used it twice. Correct, Your Honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window of that office, this is the area you would be able to see here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say about that? Will we find out what he has to say about it next time on Clownsville? Oh my god, we're gonna have to find out what he says about that on the next time on Clownsville! Shit! Oh!